Hey, what's going on, fellas? It's back day. So, I'm going to grab my fragrance for the gym, for those of you that care. It's Banana Republic Vintage Green, because I know a lot of people from my fragrance channel are here. Just three sprays, all you need. Finishing up my pre-workout, getting the GoPro situated. I said it's back day. No deadlifts today, though. Uh, I don't deadlift every single back day. Sometimes I do deadlift on my dedicated cardio days because I do some dedicated cardio days and so on. Just uh, mostly going to be working upper mid. I'll do some low back extensions, some hyper extensions to kind of stretch my lower back. That's pretty much it on the low back. We'll do a variety of things. We'll do some isolateral movements, rows. Might do a little bit of cable work as well, but uh, I like to do a lot of hammer strength, isolateral stuff. The way the rotation is, this go round, that I think that's because uh, I always mix it up from workout to workout. So last back workout is not going to be the same as this back workout. So uh, back to going the healthy route post workout. Had some pizza yesterday, um, <laughs> so it's going to be chicken breast again today. We're back to chicken breast. So let's head over to the gym. Should be a good day. A rich man's world
with the uh, burnout, probably the last thing in the montage. So I just need 15 seconds rest in between and do four sets nonstop. Max the rack out. With those little bumper plates that add, I think another two and a half pounds or five pounds a piece or something like that. But I like doing that. A uh, old mentor of mine taught me that as a nice burn out for back. It's kind of mid chest. It's not really coming down. It's coming at an angle. It's not low. It's not straight. It's not high. It's kind of in between. So it does work in the middle of your back and your upper lats. A bit different for those of you that possibly never seen that variation with the short straight bar. Out of breath. It was a good workout. Now we're going to do some cardio. Get the sauna, as usual. And then uh, I'm going to do my ground turkey, carrots and rice today. So I'll show you guys what that's all about because that's typically what I eat most days. 99% lean ground turkey. Like 4 grams of fat in the whole pound. It might even be 6 in the whole pound. Because I eat the whole pound in a day. I eat it in two servings. 8 ounces or 8 ounces. With some baby carrots diced up in the ninja, a whole onion, a medium yellow onion, um, a little bit of seasoning, gotta have some seasoning, some minced garlic and such, jasmine rice, and then at the southwest corn I like to mix with it, get a little bit of fiber, some extra decent carbs and all the sugars, and I cook it down really good to get rid of a lot of the juice and kill off a lot of that sodium. So it's probably the most high sodium thing I'll have today, but we'll knock all this shit out and we'll check back in and have a meal together. Well, I guess we'll make a quick run through. This is like, like I was saying earlier, the main thing I eat. I eat this stuff all, all the time. Here's some Genio 99% lean ground turkey, some baby carrots, a medium onion, some minced garlic. This is the corn I was talking about. This stuff is delicious when mixed with it. I already have a pot, pot of rice cooked. So we'll kind of do the before and after. I'm not going to sit here and go through, you know, chopping up and dicing. Everything with the Ninja. Also, if you don't have a Ninja, get a Ninja. Trust me, just get a Ninja. But uh, we'll see the before and the after once I get everything in the pot, and then we'll go have a talk while we eat.
Well, here we are. Have one cup prepared jasmine rice. We have half a yellow onion, half of a can of that Southwest Fiesta corn that I was talking about. About eight ounces, roughly, of the 99% lean ground turkey. About two ounces of baby carrots. Roughly a tablespoon of butter mixed throughout. So I guess we just call it half a tablespoon of butter. Real unsalted butter as well. As you saw, stick butter. And so I'll put just a little bit in the corn just to add some flavor. A little bit of dash of Tony's. Tony Stasheries in there. Um, it may have looked like I seasoned it more than it actually I actually did. But here we go. This is, like I said, what I eat most of the time. This is delicious. As you can see, this is a very large portion too. This is a big meal that'll hold me off for two or three hours and I'll get hungry again. I already had a couple of scoops of protein about an hour, hour and a half ago, roughly. Of course, I'm going to, I like to have Diet Dr. Peppers with my meals. I'll drink, you know, BCAs or essential amino acids or canteen from Redcon 1. I'll drink something to hydrate with a, you know, a bunch of water most of the day. But with my meals, I have my guilty pleasure. So, I'm not even sure how and what I'm going to put in this video as far as edits. I filmed a decent amount of footage as far as the workouts. But again, didn't run across any of my boys while I was there. So, no, uh, no funny, you know, bro, goofball, dumbass interactions between me and them for you guys to see in video as of yet. But I do appreciate all of you that are new to the channel. We've gained a few subscribers since I started doing these fitness vlogs. And I do appreciate all of you that are choosing to watch these videos. Uh, this is going to come out. This is going to be several days before this one comes out. I actually have one before this for chest day that will come out before. This will be Thursday's vlog more than likely. But anyways, this is just so hot. I want to take a bite, but it's just still so hot. Hmm. Not too bad. Delicious stuff because you get some of that poblano. No food in my mouth on them. Poblano spice that's in that Southwest corn that really changes the flavor of this. Because I used to put uh, Lesseur, very small, low sodium peas, which I still do from time to time. But uh, it doesn't provide the same flavor that having this corn does. Because I don't have to season as heavily when I have this corn because it's so flavorful. All good carbs. Nothing crazy. Got some vegetables. I may have some fruits to snack on later. But yeah, I'll finish this up. Like I said, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you know when I drop another vlog. Typically going to premiere on Tuesdays and Thursdays with the occasional third vlog on the weekends. Until next time, guys. Y'all have a good one.